Hello crafters, this is Yana Smakula. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have two Easter cards to share featuring a lot of die cutting and some creative foiling showcasing products from Spellbinders, March 2020, Small Die of the Month, Large Die of the Month, and Glimmer Clubs. I've already done some prep work for these cards and I'll walk you through the steps that I took. First, I have already foiled Happy Easter Sentiment in gold foil on a piece of craft cardstock. This is cut to 4 and a quarter by 5 and a half inches, and I will later trim this panel down some more. Now, the sentiment plates that I used for my sentiment comes from the March 2020 Glimmer Kit of the Month from Spellbinders called the Extra Special Set. There are other sentiment plates in that set that allow you to create various messages, such as Happy Spring, Easter Wishes, Happy Hello, Spring Hello, and of course, Happy Easter. Included in that glimmer set are also three Easter egg dies to cut the foiled Easter eggs out. There are also, of course, three glimmer plates with various foil designs, and here are some of the Easter eggs that I have already foiled. The designs are very pretty and perfect for Easter. Now the dies allow you to cut Easter eggs in different sizes and you have three sizes. The largest one coordinates perfectly with the foiled Easter eggs, while the two smaller sizes allow you to cut just parts of the design out and have smaller eggs. The smallest egg works perfectly with the bunny die cuts from the March 2020 small die of the month. You can have the bunny holding the egg like so, and he looks just so adorable. Speaking of the bunnies, the small die of the month has two bunny die cuts. There are other die cuts included in that set, but I'm just using the, die the bunny die cuts today. So you have two bunny die cuts to create a standing and a sitting bunny. I've already die cut a bunch of bunnies out of white textured cardstock, and I actually used the card bases from the Spellbinders card kits. The card bases have texture to them, and that texture is actually perfect to mimic fur on the bunnies. Now let's go back to the Easter eggs. Cutting just parts of the foiled design out with the Easter egg dies is what pushed me or inspired me to use different foil plates to create custom foil designs on my Easter eggs. After all, if you think about it, you can foil anything you like and then use that coordinating Easter egg die to cut it out in the shape of an Easter egg. How cool is that, right? So here I have used my foliage border glimmer plate from my foiled basics collection, and I have foiled it in gold on white cardstock. I'm going to add some subtle ink blending to the foiling and then we'll die cut various parts of this design using that Easter egg die. I'm using a combination of yellow and pink ink today for the ink blending and I'm going for craft, white, yellow and pink color combo. It's a soft color combination, very, very ideal for spring. I'm first using Simon Says Stamp Duckling Ink. This is a very pretty soft yellow, and I'm blending it almost over the entire foiled piece. Next, I'm adding a little bit of darker yellow. This is Sunshine, also from Simon Says Stamp, and I'm adding that just at the base of the foiling to darken that area a little bit. Now I can use the smallest Easter egg and die cut custom eggs for my card. One foiled border, or foliage border, will give me about three to four smallest eggs. And look how cute it turned out. It's perfect to go along with my bunnies. Now I went ahead and die cut the rest of the yellow eggs for my card and then moved on to ink blending the pink panel. Here I again used a light and a dark pink color. I started with Twirling Tutu from Simon Says Stamp, a very pretty soft pink, and I blended it covering almost the entire foiled piece. Next, I added Hollyhock color, a darker pink, highlighting the base of the foiling. You do have to be kind of careful when you ink blend over the foiling. Use a light hand and don't press too hard because if you over ink blend, the foil might lose some of the shine. And then again, I used the smallest Easter egg to die cut the pink eggs for my card. Now, I encourage you to look through your stash and see what other glimmer plates or perhaps even dies you can use 
to create custom foil designs for your Easter egg die cuts. Of course, you can use the glimmer plates that are included in this month glimmer kit, but do think outside the box and look for other designs to decorate the eggs with. Next, I started to work on my bunnies. I only had one assembled and I needed six for this card. There's also a die to cut the inserts for the bunny ears and also a tail. I'm actually embarrassed to admit I did not realize right away that that was a tail. I couldn't figure out that until I was putting my fifth bunny together and I thought that it would be nice to have a tail die cut for, for the bunny. And that's when it hit me. That's when I realized that that was the tail. Anyhow, you can die cut bunnies from other materials, not just paper. I've seen people use flocked paper that looked really cool. I also tried using felt. Here I have one bunny die cut from cream and pink felt. I adhered him onto a cardstock die cut for stability. He is super fuzzy and cute. Now here's another bunny where I skipped using the die cut inserts for the ears and used a Copic marker to add color instead. That took less time and was easier to make. So that is another option for you. To finish putting the bunnies together, I cut the little pieces of black and pink cardstock and used that behind the nose and eye openings. You can, if you want to, inlay the eyes and the nose, but those pieces are very tiny. I find it much easier to just back the openings up with colored cardstock. It looks just as nice in the end and takes a lot less time. I have all of my bunnies created and now it's time to plan our card. I'm going to have six bunnies, two rows of three. Those that are standing bunnies are going to hold two eggs each, a pink and a yellow egg, and the sitting bunnies are just going to sit next to them. I love this die design, especially the one with the, for the standing up bunnies. You can lift their arm and have them actually hold an object. Here, they're holding Easter eggs, but they can hold carrots, flowers, even balloons if you wanted to make a fun spring birthday card. I used foam adhesive squares and adhered elements onto the card. I like to add dimension to my projects and I always tend to pop things up whenever I can. Here's what this card looks like once finished. I foam mounted the panel onto A2 craft card base, so it is craft on craft. I'm also going to use my Copic marker. This is a warm gray W1 marker to add some subtle shading to some of the bunnies. I'm just following the cut lines on the die cuts and then using a colorless blender marker to soften the color. It doesn't add much, but just enough pretty detail to my card. Moving on to the next project. For this card, I'm going to foil a pretty frame using a new foil set from Spellbinders called Modern Essentials. This is the essential rectangle set. I already have it positioned on the panel, and now I'm using a ruler to position the same sentiment that I used for the previous card, Happy Easter. The ruler helps space everything and position it in the center of my panel. My glimmer machine is sitting off to the side and it is already hot, so I'm just going to foil this off camera. It foiled beautifully and I love the look of gold on craft. Now I'm going to use a coordinating rectangle die. This is from the Essentials Rectangles set to cut this panel out. Spellbinders has a new collection called Modern Essentials with four basic shapes, squares, rectangles, circles, and ovals. And in addition to the basic shape dies, you have piercing inserts to decorate like little circles along the edge of the panel, or you have the option to foil little circles like I did here. Truly a very versatile collection and a good base for any project. I've already created additional elements for my card. I die cut the bunnies. These bunnies, as you can see, are much larger. They come from the large die of the month for March 2020. I'm using the smallest one for my card. I've also foiled additional Easter eggs with a custom design and I've die cut medium and small size eggs for this card. So not just the smallest eggs this time. And I've adhered everything using foam adhesive. In case you're new to Spellbinders and to their clubs, the small die of the month, large die of the month and glimmer are all subscription clubs. Those are memberships available from the Spellbinders website only. 
The subscriptions start at $15 per month, and U.S. shipping is included in the cost. Every month, there is a new dye set or glimmer set delivered to your door, along with lots of inspiration from Spellbinders. If you enjoy die cutting, you will enjoy these kits as the designs are always fresh and trendy. I don't share the projects with the kits every month here on my YouTube channel, but I do try to create fun cards using these products whenever I can find the time. I've also added an additional Easter egg to the bunny. He's holding it with his cute little arm. I wanted to add some bling to this card, so I brought my fashion gold dots from Fun Stamper's Journey and added a bunch, dressing up the eggs and the background on my card. And here's the look at the finished project. I love the way they turned out. Very simple and very cute and oh, so perfect for Easter. I hope you enjoyed this video and you'll give this idea a try. If you do, please share online and tag me. I love seeing what you guys are making. If you're new here, do subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified about every new upload. Love you guys. I'll see you next week.